you how to attach the car bed to a BC ambulance stretcher. So to begin with, you want to ensure that the infant is not in the car bed while securing to the stretcher. Position the stretcher at a working height, remove all linen and lower the side rails, side rails lowered. Place the car bed on the stretcher perpendicular to the mattress with the handle in the upright position. Line the car bed up with the crease. It's the crease of the head of the stretcher. That's the crease you're lining it up with, this crease right here. The infant's head will be on the left side of the stretcher so that they face the cabinet wall when the stretcher is loaded in the ambulance and the feet are pointing towards the cabinet to allow you to have access to the infant's head and airway. Feed the stretcher shoulder male and female ends through the car bed web loops at the head of the stretcher. And it's easier if you um, feed the female end through it. It fits much better than the male end. And this time, feed both sides in and then connect the stretcher shoulder belt and loosely secure the car bed to the stretcher, tucking the adult shoulder harness behind the mattress. I'm following the BC Ambulance SOP, which is also um, provided with the car beds. The next step is to feed the lap male and female straps through the car bed webbing loops at the foot end of the stretcher. So it's not the loop the same as the other side, it's just this round strap here. So you go through it on the one side and through it on the other side. And then connect the lock belt and loosely secure the car bed to the stretcher. Ensure the car bed carry handle is upright and locked in place. And this must be maintained during transport. With both the shoulder and lap belts now loosely secured, raise the backrest to the full upright position. Ensure all other stretcher belts are not in use and fastened or and secured. To tighten both the shoulder and lap belts, one person compresses the car bed onto the stretcher mattress and the second person tightens both straps. Tuck away the excess belt ends. Shoulder. On your side, and we'll come down. Oh, no, no, it's not. No. It's on my side. Okay. Okay. Now that we've had our workout, <laughs> we will now ensure the car bed is properly secured by checking for tightness. So we will hold the car bed with your weakest hand and push pull from side to side. It should not move more than an inch. It's not going anywhere. Hold both sides of the car bed and push pull from the front to back. And again, it should not move more than an inch. No. If it does, repeat the steps until the car bed is properly secured. Not moving. The end. Nah. Oh, go oh. ahead.